Today, we will be testing the Price Headley Acceleration Bands. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said, today we will be testing the Price Headley Acceleration Bands. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 51 different strategies with 13 of them being profitable. We have also tested a total of 660 indicators with 269 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. And keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex market, but they can be applied to just about any market universally. Okay, so today's indicator is the Price Headley Acceleration Bands. And you can see it here on screen. And so a uh, pretty easy setup on this. We have the lower band, we have the upper band. Uh, they're creating uh, this kind of channel that's running along here. Have this midpoint here uh, indicated by these little faint dots running down the middle. And so this is a good indicator to give us um, that buffer that we're looking for uh, to kind of filter out that um, consolidation uh, that often ends up costing us a lot of losing trades. And so uh, basically what we are looking for is when price breaks above the blue band, the upper blue band, then we are going to go long. When price breaks down uh, below the uh, lower red band, then we are going to go short. So price must break up above and close above that blue band or break down below and close below this red band here. Uh, for it to be a valid uh, signal. And so that's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of this. All right, so the first signal that we pick up is this long signal right here. Uh, you can see that we get that break to the upside just barely here on this really large bar. Um, comes up, closes above that blue band there. And then we get a nice push to the upside there, which does come up and get us to our take profit. Let's go ahead and continue on.
Then the second signal that we get is also a long signal. And so this is a valid one here as well. And so uh, basically what we had was a long here. We get a push to the upside, gets us to our take profit. I think it was on, let's see. Yeah, it was on this big, uh, this big candle right here. The second one in is where we would have hit in our take profit there and closed out of that position. We then have a pullback into this middle section here and then another push back to the upside. If I hover over this bar, <clears throat> excuse me, right here, um, you can see our coordinates here. Uh, we're looking for that blue one since we're looking at the blue band. Uh, the current position of it was at 1.0908. And then if we look at our close over here of this candle, then it was at 1.091111 or 117. And so we say that this uh, candle here closed just barely above that blue band. Unfortunately, we don't get much of a push to the upside, just a tad bit of a push there. Hits about 50 pips, so it got kind of close to our, our take profit, uh, but wasn't quite able to get there before we then start to push down uh, pretty heavily, heavily there. And that one does come down and unfortunately stops us out. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the testing. That way things don't take too long and we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that's going to put us at the end right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, now would be a good time to say that if you are interested in selling your trading knowledge, I highly recommend that you join our Patreon only channel on our Discord server. You can find a link to our Patreon down below as well as a link to our Discord. Once you sign up as a patron, it'll give you access to the Patreon only channel where we post some really great advanced information about trading strategies, trading indicators, and trading philosophy in general. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you'll get access to the full list of indicators that we have tested that comes in an Excel version and a PDF version. And you will get that full list of the indicators showing exactly which indicators were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates. And you'll get access to an Excel sheet of all the strategies that we have tested that shows exactly which strategies were winners, which ones were losers, as well as their win rates and links to go back and review those individual strategies. And so there is a lot of benefits to becoming a patron of the channel and it doesn't cost hardly anything at all. I highly recommend it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here everything in focus all right so we have one two three four and five so we have five trades all together and we have one and two winning trades and so that is not going to meet the 60 percent criteria that we are looking for um so this indicator we uh i've seen this often uh with indicators like this that create kind of a channel uh, for price action to kind of ride in between and so um, sometimes they work good as a overbought oversold type scenario and so anytime price closes above this band you'd be looking for a short opportunity um, and anytime price closes below you'd be looking for a long a long opportunity and so um, what happens though is sometimes the bands too narrow and you'll get these instances where uh, you still get quite a bit of a push to one direction or another before you actually see that reversal take place and then sometimes you can use bands like this to filter out the consolidation and you can use it just like we did here where we look for that break and that's a sign of momentum to continue in that direction but sometimes the bands are too wide and what you end up getting is a lot of trades um, that are um, starting to really lose that momentum right as you are jumping into that uh, position in that direction and so i think this is kind of one of those instances where uh, it was uh, too wide for the way we tested it and too um uh too narrow for uh the uh, kind of pullback method that we were looking for uh the the other way anyways and so um yeah it's uh it's a shame because uh indicators like this can be extremely useful when they're dialed in 
uh, just kind of correctly and this one just wasn't uh, quite there and so uh, for that reason this one is going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here